It's all about the children's safety. That's why Harlem Gym Police will not only make sure the students make their way safely to school, but they will also be enforcing traffic laws, keeping a close eye on drivers in school zones. So expect to see a significant police presence. Painting the crosswalk, watering the lawn, turning on the caution lights. All of them are signs that in one week, school will be back in session. In Harlingen, expect to see more police officers working on the school zones, making sure the traffic laws are being followed for the sake of the kids. The biggest issue, distracted drivers. Distracted drivers not only uh, can injure themselves or others on the roadway, they can definitely hurt our children. And looking down for a quick text or a quick tweet or a Facebook status or whatever uh, can actually uh, take your eyes off the roadway, uh, causing you to strike a child. And at that point, it's, nothing's worth it. Sergeant Dave Osborne with Harlan Gym Police says that for the next month, drivers should expect to see more police officers inside school zones. Expect to see them both in police units and assisting children crossing the road paying close attention to distracted drivers. Uh, there's something that gives that officer indication that you're not paying attention to what you're doing. They'll, they'll pull up next to you or pull behind you and find out you're on your phone. Uh, you're probably not just on a phone call. You're probably actually actually looking down at your phone, dialing, or maybe uh, sending a text message. And those kind of things in school zones are strictly prohibited. A ticket for using a cell phone in a school zone can cost up to $200. The only time you can use a cell phone in a school zone is if your vehicle is in a park in a parking lot. Police officers also want to make sure that you're dropping off your kids in a designated drop-off location because they will be giving improper stop of citations if you drop them off elsewhere. And that child opens the back door to get out. Uh, another vehicle may strike that door, strike that child. That child may run across the street thinking he's safe or he, she is safe. And uh, vehicles may try to pass that car thinking it's going to make a turn. So all kinds of bad things can happen when you drop off children in the middle of the roadway. Finally, don't forget about school buses. If you see a school bus with a stop sign out, you must stop no matter if the bus is on the opposite lane. Now Harlan Gym Police and the city are working on a mapping route, a specific route drivers would take when taking their kids to school, a plan for a better way to flow the traffic during the school year. In the studio, Valeria Ponte, Action 4 News.